Hi guys, Boronia from Evolution Dance, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to our Technique Tuesday videos. And today we'll be covering CBM versus CBMP in the ballrooms. So a little bit more of a theoretical, technical video today rather than actual steps, but very, very important concepts and principles to understand in the ballroom dancing. First of all, we need to understand what is CBM, what is CBMP. CBM stands for Contra Body Movement, CBM, CBMP, Contra Body Movement Position. Now, where's the main difference? We need to look at the last word of each of those terms. Contra Body Movement tells us that it's a movement, it's an action that we use. Contra Body Movement Position tells us it's a position that we take. Mostly when we talk about position in ballroom, we're talking about a foot position and we're replacing the feet. So, CBM is a body action which we use to initiate a turn. So, we use this in all of our ballrooms a lot of the time. Anytime you have a turn in ballroom, you need to initiate that with CBM. Right? So, we carry on with the definition. It says CBM is a body action used to initiate a turn where the opposite shoulder is moved towards the standing foot or the stepping foot, shall we say. So if we look at, we'll keep, keep with our pulse as we've been working. When I step forward, I'm going to do a natural turn in the waltz. I'm going forward with my right foot. And as you can see, I'm rotating my left shoulder forward. Yep, if I do it sideways, you can see what happens. We step forward and we create a rotation with the left shoulder coming forward. Now this is, this is where your CBM gets used. We initiate the turn so that we can then continue through the action. Same thing applies if we're going back, if we're doing a natural turn, and we're going back, we're going back with the left foot, and you see how I initiate that rotation, the body action that is used to initiate the turn, then we can move through and finish that turn. Right? We use this just to make turning and rotating around each other much easier. If we have to stay square, we go one, and now you have to try and force your way around on two, three. It just makes it more difficult for everybody. That one allows us to get our bodies set up correctly so that our feet can just finish the turn. CBMP is a foot position where one foot is placed either forward or back on the same track as the other foot giving the impression that we've used CBM, so it gives the impression that we've rotated the body, but without actually having to rotate too much. We use CBMP mostly in, prepare or in preparing and stepping outside of our partners. So if we had to look, and in this case I'm just going to look at Foxtrot, if we had to look at the Foxtrot feather step, for example, for a gent, we're going to go right foot forward, left foot forward, now your right foot is going to go forward in CBMP because we need to step outside the lady. So you see that foot comes in, instead of staying on its own track, it's going to step in line with the other foot and that creates a slight rotation in our body. That's where our CBMP is used. We also use it um, in promenade. So if we have to do a whisk, we're in whisk position in waltz. I'm stepping forward and across in CBMP. You see me stepping forward and across. My toes are pointing diagonally to the wall as a gent, but my movement is along the line of darts. That's forward and across in CBMP again. You can see it gives a strong look of a rotation in the upper body, but all I've done is I've just stepped across my body. So, in, uh, to recap, Again, just something to remember, CDM ends with movement, so it's the movement used to initiate a turn. CDMP ends in position, that's the foot position where we bring the feet onto the same track, or even across, in the case of promenade, in order to assist us to step outside of our partners. Hope that makes sense. Again, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Like, subscribe, please share the channel. It goes a long way to help us out and just spread the knowledge. Have a good one and we'll see you all next week.